right, guys. So it is Saturday. Uh, as you can tell, I got my 3100 pushed out. The drift truck is out in the front of the house. Uh, sorry, I look real tired. I stayed up late sanding on that sucker, trying to get it prepped for today. Uh, it, it is off of the side yard, as you can tell. I got the turbo truck on the front lawn right there. I got my lady's car pushed out. Uh, just mopped the floor in the garage. I just did kind of a, a towel bath, I guess you want to call it, on that truck. I didn't spray it with the hose because I didn't want any of the drips, residual water to where I'm going to fucking mask off right now. You know what I mean? So, uh, yes, I got it all sanded down. I hit it with 220 and then I hit it with 800. And now is the prep time for the... Oh, yeah, what's like it? My buddy right there in the Volkswagen. Uh, what was I going to say? Now's the masking off time. So you put better time in the prep, I've heard, and hopefully the outcome will come out better. So, yes, I'm going to pull the truck in, close the garage down, get a fan going in that door, uh, put some Visqueen plastic over the shelves, over, oh, drape it over the top of all this stuff and over all this stuff because I don't like the... Uh, residual dust fine powder i know it'll blow away if that the paint leaves but you know what i mean if i could do a little prep to keep it clean i'll do it now that 3100 sure looks good and it's up on rollers man it's gonna be low once i get her going and put it on some correct wheels and tires but just, yes sir let me pull this truck in and we'll get going all right that's the first clue right there obviously giveaway i got nine cans had them sitting out in the sun the little sun we had today had them upside down giving them a good shaking now so let's get after it no more four different colors well that's brown one tan two black three that's a different brown that's four so that's four, four different colors already. If you guys come on this side, that's another, that's a different color brown I did. So that, that's five. Five different colors this truck had. Let's get it to one. Come on. Whew, man. Uh. All right, so we got a fog coat on the truck right now. All the way around. I just had to pop the garage to get on the rear end of the roll pan because that space is pretty narrow. Oh man, I'm gonna, wow, have some green boogers. Good thing St. Patrick's Day was yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, light fog coat, as you can tell, it's not all the way filled in as you wanna call it. I'm gonna let this chill for about 30 minutes or so, 40 minutes. Let my freaking finger chill. Man. Whew, I tell you what, if you guys ever consider spray painting a whole truck, prepare your finger. Or get one of those little gun squeezy type deals that go on top, the little adapters. Uh, I know I've kind of been all over the place in this video. I wanted to give you guys the exact color. It's uh, what, Hunt Club Green? Can focus in on it can you guys see that right there hunt club green uh, i was trying to go for a flat green it's it's satin i didn't really want super super flat because sometimes you could just like see your hands when you rub the paint you see the white left over from your skin paint fingerprints or whatever so i had i went intermediate uh what do you want to call it satin obviously i think that's in the middle but yeah it's uh looking pretty good to me it's green. Hope you guys are digging it. My buddy Dustin. D, if you watch this, I'm copying your truck. My buddy Dustin has a lifted square body four wheel drive on some swampers, this color with the 383 stroker. And ever since I seen that truck about nine years ago, I've always wanted to paint one of my square bodies this color. And I finally pulled the trigger. I'm gonna spray some black bed liner in the bed after obviously this paint cures. So yes sir, let this chill. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back 
It is day three, Sunday, Sunday morning. Uh, that's nine cans of spray paint on the truck. Came out pretty good. Look at all that over spray on the ground. Man, look, it got it all over me again. I freaking showered and got it all off my face last night. Clearly the mask was using wasn't correct. Needed a respirator. But. And I'm the safety guy at work, so. Hopefully my company doesn't watch this video. But yeah, anyways, nine cans of spray of Hunt Club Green Satin. Uh, I'm probably gonna let this dry for pretty four days, five days, and sweat sand it with some 2000 grit. It's, it came out pretty good. It didn't really lay down too flat. If you could see on that side of the hood, the texture of the hood just didn't want to really blend. I uh, kept going over, kept going over it, and I was just like, man, I'm putting coat after coat on this fucking hood and it's not laying down flat. So I just said, screw it. I was gonna try and get away with not wet sanding it, but I think it's gonna have to happen. It didn't really come out as, lay as blend as I thought it would. It came out good. I'm happy with the color. I'm stepping on all the trash. Definitely happy with the color. I think it's gonna look real good with the black rims, all the black accents, black grill, and then the red calipers are really gonna pop on this, on this green, satin green. But yep, I'm gonna let this dry for a few hours. Then I'll come in here and maybe, I don't know if I wanna sweep it up or vacuum it up, man. Cause I don't want all this dust on the truck. I did, it's raining outside right now. Not ideal time, it didn't rain yesterday, so it was good but I didn't want to open these doors or open that garage door. I'm going to eventually have to scoot this truck over as far as I can because I have the turbo truck still outside and it needs to come in tonight and it can't stay out tomorrow while I'm at work. So, yep, there she is. I know it's shitty lighting in here, but man, I like it. I think it's going to come out good once I wet sand it and put all the trim and everything black on, back on. The drip rail, paint the, the handle green, green black. <laughs> and uh, the keyhole black. Yeah, I got green on the brain. And then once I paint the back of the bed, it looks a lot better too. It's just crap lighting in here. Yeah, how's that? It just looks dark on the phone. But yep, not sure if this will be the end of the video. I might wait and wet sand it and get some video of the truck all put together. That's probably what I'll do. Wait till I get the grill on, everything back on, get the wheels all clean and it looking nice before I end this video. So, yes, sir, stick with us. Touching up the grill and my sanding got carried away, but uh, I'm really happy with it. It's a uh, hunt green, hunter green. I can't remember, I remember it's early in the video, it'll tell you exactly. But yeah, it's uh, satin green. Uh, I like it a lot, man. It looks really good out here against the green background, you know what I mean? Look, we got some, we got some bystanders. <laughs> I think they like it already, also, but yeah, man. Got the uh, race grip harnesses installed also since the last time, last video. That's the new upgrade also. A little, little bit getting used to it. It's a little rough on the shoulders, but little shoulder blades, but it's all right. Yeah, I uh, obviously you can see in the video, just sanded it down to my garage. Did uh, nine cans, took nine cans to spray the sucker. Uh, if I ever do it again, I'll buy one of those cheap spray guns from Harbor Freight with my finger and my tendons or whatever you want to call muscle is sore. I can still feel it sore, man. But yeah, the truck was nine, no, nine, nine cans. The truck was five different colors of brown. And well, four brown and one black. So it had a few different colors to it. You know what I mean? I wanted to make it all one color. These are all, they're all bunched up on us. But yep, if you guys can see my buddy Bernie truck down there, we'll go take a look at that here in a second. But yep, 